Hi everybody and welcome to this very quick overview on how to install Android 7 on a Nook HD Plus. Um, some of you may have one of these tablets laying around. The Nook HD Plus is one of the great bargain tablets of all time. It's got a HD screen, 1080 uh, resolution. It's got a dual core processor. Um, it's got, uh, I think, a gig of RAM, so enough to run, enough horsepower to run modern applications uh, on Android. What it unfortunately also has is a low rent version of Android installed from the factory. Uh, Android 4.0 to be specific with some bells and whistles thrown in from Barnes & Noble. Uh, that's not getting it done in 2017, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of the apps on the Google Play Store don't install on Android 4 anymore. It's an old operating system. Um, just, it, you know, it's getting kicked to the wayside. And so you could always buy another tablet, but you can also repurpose this for free and get Android 7 on there. Uh, I've got a tutorial at the bottom of this video a link there to a, um, a WordPress blog uh, describing how to do this. I'm just going to go over very quickly here the overview of what's going to be done. Uh, in short, it'll take about 30 minutes to do this. Uh, you do not have to be any kind of computer expert, hacker, or anything like that. I've got the needed files for this on my Dropbox account, again, also in that tutorial. Just copy them on to a micro SD card, such as I'm pointing to right here. Very, very inexpensive. This one it happens to be 32 gigs, but you don't need a big one. 16 gigs should be fine. Uh, maybe even less, 8 gigs probably is even fine. Uh, you also, right here, I've got something that you plug the SD card into and you put this into your PC. You copy the files, basically, from your PC through this to the SD card. And when you're done with that, take the SD card, micro SD card, rather, and plug it into your Nook, uh, as you would adding memory or something like that. Turn on the Nook, and then it'll pick up the files from this. It'll start what they call a bootload process. Based on the files that you copy on here, the Nook knows that, hey, wait a minute, I'm doing an upgrade. Follow the examples in the tutorial that I've got listed at the bottom, a few menu selections, uh, and you'll be in business. It'll take about, like I say, 20 or 30 minutes to install the files from here to the Nook, and you'll have Android 7.1 on there, um, So, which is great news. One caveat, though, and I, again, the tutorial talks about this. I just want to underline it here. The installation procedure wipes out your Nook's memory files, all that stuff. So before you do any of this, make sure you back up whatever files you have on the Nook to a safe spot because it will wipe out the Nook completely, the memory, all files on there. So if you've got some videos or books on here that you want to save, get them off before you start this off. And again, uh, the tutorial, about a 30 minute one, very easy to follow. I know there are a lot of tutorials out there about upgrading tablets and they can get pretty convoluted about what distributions you want to use and uh, nightly build files and all this sort of stuff. I went with just the straight um, mainline safe build files that are current as of uh, today, which is uh, February 2017. And I put them up in my Dropbox, only three files. Put them onto your SD drive, SD card rather. Put it in, fire it up, and away you go. And again, the tutorial listed at the bottom of this video goes into this more. Um, I hope it, I hope you find it useful. This is a free upgrade. Uh, so it's, and it'll, it'll breathe new life into your Nook. The Nook hardware itself has got plenty of horsepower to run Android 7 and most of the apps on there. So uh, it's just, it's a great way to, keep your tablet going. Again, there's no need to upgrade to another tablet if you can get Android 7 on here. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. Thanks very much.